so friendly with all the people that like the first time I came here there was not I didn't have a minute to myself <laughs> I, I was glad for that because I thought I would just come here and just be awkward and sit in the corner and uh, mm -hmm. just like you know everywhere else you don't know people that it, that's kind of what happens but not here not at all and I really like that and you guys just drew me in I, to all of you you know. What about that experience and, and what was happening in your life made you want to become Catholic? Oh, to become Catholic. Well, I mean, just everything washing over me at once. It was just like... Uh, I felt like... I know this sounds almost like cheesy, but... Like, God is literally pushing me toward this church, other than all any others. Like, I've been to a couple of different churches before this, and I've never really felt God holding me down to one church. You know, like, that's the one, go there. But this place, I, I have felt that sort of, that sort of, you know, yeah, that sort of energy in this, this, Establishment and call a church. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> um, like we said before, most of the people here um, grew up Catholic, and they're going through sort of a different process than you did. Um, you, we were talking earlier about how you know you really um, kind of appreciated the ability to 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 come through as an older adult and ask a lot of questions. Can you talk a little bit about that? Oh yes, of course. Uh, in fact, I, I kind of did realize that like when you do something so many times every day, you just go through the motions. It doesn't mean anything anymore. But I, I mean, I'm not saying like pointing at anyone specific or anything like that, but I mean, you, you do see it in everyday life and not even in anything and and this is something so this is so easy just to fall into the motions and I've been so grateful that I have had the chance to make this decision on my own to be able to stand back and say why are they doing that what you know why should you do this and why have you know just all sorts of things that I can figure out for my own instead of just being being told this is what you do every day until you, you know, either die or leave. <laughs> that's something that you can't really, that you can't be born into. This is, this, I think that you should be able, you, yeah, I think you should be able to make this choice on your own. And, because this is a huge decision that I could not have made unless I knew that it was the right choice. Um, what, would, what was the, what, what do you think, was there any experience that you had in the last few weeks leading up to, to last Saturday night that, that really stood out to you the most as um, really helping you make that final decision? Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've had so many, it's the little things, you know, it's the little experiences that you get in everyday life that you see like God working in this place and you just notice it and you think that that really make it seem like he's there make it well I mean you know he is there to make you see him there and this is somewhere that I see a lot of little things happening and I mean of course there are big things that happen like this Saturday Night Vigil that was just amazing by the way <laughs> make sure you know. um, there was no specific moment that just that just grabbed my attention and said, "That's it." It was just kind of like, "Look over here, over there, that church, Nick, over here." <laughs> Either way, it got me here, and I'm glad I am. Did um, can, can you maybe talk a little bit about Saturday night as as friends and family arrived and that, and then um, you know your experience with. Being baptized, uh, receiving the Eucharist, and, and being confirmed into the church. What was what was that all about? Oh man, it was so.
so amazing. As I'm sure some of you can, can say, uh, that we're sitting right in the front, right next to where I was going in. <laughs> like, I, was, I was like, wow, all of these people are here, and I heard a couple people say that they were there just for me. And that's just amazing. Um, oh, like I was saying, they can say that I was standing up there waiting to be baptized, just shaking and bouncing and just waiting for that to happen. I'm not sure out of excitement or nervousness, a little bit of both, but... Um, it was just really amazing, and like with all of that lead up, there's no possible way it could be not anything less than amazing. And I have to tell you, it didn't disappoint. <laughs> what about uh, what about you know Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? You know, this first week, um, is your have you felt different, or maybe is there anything different that you've done? You know, this week. That Oh yes, actually. I've been going to, well I've been trying to go to daily mass every day, but um, I have, well, I have sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that's one thing that's important. I, yeah, you know, I don't really wake up that early. But um, I've been trying to come to daily mass and it's really been making all of the difference. And it was kind of sad, but I noticed that every day that I missed daily mass, I was kind of in a really bad mood. And I don't know if there's a correlation. I think it probably is. But I did notice that. Every other every other day it was just kind of, you know, up there. It was it was a good day, you know? And so I think that I am going to be coming to daily mass a lot more often. Uh, and really the changes have been huge. Like, you can ask some of my friends, maybe not Megan, because she doesn't have too many classes with me, but some of my friends in my other classes, which none are here, but, <laughs> so you can't ask them, but, um, I have changed a lot. Like, just my, not only just, like, my mood, but everything just seems, like, brighter, like, happier. Like, I can see God in everything. Well, not everything. I'm still having trouble seeing <laughs> you really do it opens your eyes opens your ears and and actually just like father spoke in the mass today you grow that those those eyes inside that just keep you open to all of the god experiences in every single day and it's great do you feel Responsibility or sort of, I don't want to say pressure, but just a different kind of responsibility as uh, a Catholic? Well, I mean, as far as changing, I mean, like, I already felt sort of a responsibility. I'm not sure if I should, but I felt a sort of responsibility for some of my close friends and classmates that have kind of maybe strayed away or aren't doing very good. Uh, but I mean, now I definitely feel like, well, like you. No, wait, like you're trying not to say. Pressure. I do feel pressure now, <laughs> honestly, because I felt responsibility before, but now I feel like I have that motivation to go out and talk to them, to go out and try and connect with them on a spiritual uh, standpoint, you know, which I have with a couple. That's cool. Was there anything else you wanted to share with the group uh, before... Jamie comes up, and we want to, or Bobby, we want to show some photos from Saturday night, actually. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I think we, you're not shaking in any of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anything else? Any other that sounds like, like somebody who could write a book. Yeah, do you have, uh, do you have anything else you'd want to share? Just that you guys are all really awesome. I love the hospitality here, and I just really am looking forward to many good years here, right. which is kind of strange because I'm studying, but many good years. All right, guys. Hey, thank you, Nick. That's awesome.